What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. This has been a long week, man. I'm, I'm still excited about the Aaron Rodgers stuff, but the whole waiting for him to talk and the anticipation and now all the leverage, who has more, who has less. But whatever, time to move on a little bit. It was great to see the signing of Alan Lazard yesterday and seeing his excitement and his good use of Twitter. But uh, the next biggest story is going to be about, you know, Odell Beckham Jr., where the Jets remain interested in him. And he's another, like, kind of like a controversial player where people either love, either love him or hate him. Um, and the Jets being tied didn't make sense because he was on Aaron Rodgers' wish list, was not a demand list or a ransom list, just an ideal scenario. So Beckham's going to be turning 31 this year. And, you know, at his peak was an incredible player, dynamic player, explosive, game-changing type player. He's coming off an ACL injury, but if you watch his workout, he's still electric, man. He's, you know, explosive, great route runner, great hands. You know, he has the vertical and everything else. So now it's like, what is the fit with the Jets? And to me, being completely honest with you, I always thought he was going to go to the Cowboys. But the fact that Jets are still in the mix, maybe the, maybe the market's not what he thinks it is. I know there was rumors he wanted $20 million a year. And he's saying, you know, if you want to pay for uh, something, you know, high quality, you can't offer low quality prices. So for the Jets, the first thing is, what's the fit in the locker room? You know, I think in one aspect, he could be a great mentor to a guy like Garrett Wilson and Elijah Moore, just on his work ethic and how he plays receiver. The other side of it is it, what his personality, all that Odell Beckham Jr. brings to you. Coming back to New York, coming back to New York, New Jersey, but he's always headlines. He's always doing things. He's always in the media and on social media. Will that be a distraction to anybody? Will that be an annoyance? Because right now the Jets are emerging kind of as a team that everybody wants to hate. Because you have the guy, Aaron Rodgers, who's kind of like, you know, kind of controversial, kind of annoying to some people. And then you're going to have this brass Jets team that's going to talk some shit. You know, which I love. I, I love the us against the world thing. I love that people hate the Jets. I love it. But you add Beckham to the mix, and how does that add to the locker room? Will, will that be any kind of a problem? The other thing I wonder about is just the snaps. Right now you have guys, you know, Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore, Lazard. Then, you know, if you add in Beckham, will guys get mad if they start losing reps? You know, Garrett Wilson's a very outspoken person. You know, you're paying, you know, Alan Lazard pretty good money to be here. So you wonder, could, could Elijah Moore be involved in a trade? To the Packers, I mean, I think everybody's kind of assuming Corey, Corey Davis is that guy. So it's just the fit on and off the field is it good for the Jets? Um, it's interesting. It's very interesting. I, I mean, to me, I'm at the point now, it's like I want all the weapons as possible to see Aaron Rodgers flourish. But I'm not sure if he's a guy or not. I mean, do you go in a different direction? I think right now wide receiver depth is a concern. Because you got to figure if Corey Davis is not traded, he's going to be gone. So, you're, you know, you have Garrett Wilson, Moore, Lazard, not enough. I know people like Denzel Mims, but, I mean, can you really count on him? So if you can add another really good veteran player to the mix, I think it's great. So uh, let me know what you think. This is fascinating. I'm just excited, man. Like, I cannot wait. I mean, the Jets obviously have to address the offensive line. They had a guy yesterday from the Commanders, but I, we're, I think we're expecting more, especially at the center position. So uh, stay tuned. And I'll talk to you later.